Why can't I lose weight? I've tried everything, I've tried every diet, I've tried exercise, I've tried everything. Why can't I lose weight? I have gotten this question a lot. <clears throat> I have had clients and non-clients alike ask me, I've had watched people mull over it and make lots of assumptions as to why they think they can't lose weight. Some of the most common <clears throat> ideas that happen to people um, when they cannot lose weight is they begin to think it's their hormones, um, they think something's metabolically wrong with them, they feel like it's completely out of their control and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna break a little bit of this down. Um, so hopefully it helps provide some clarity. So the first thing, uh, let's think about this from a third point person point of view. If you had like a dog and the dog was starting to get a little fat, what would you do to basically cause the dog to lose weight? You would probably do one of two things or one of three things. You would either lessen the amount of food that you're giving them. You would maybe change the type of food you're giving them because if you're giving them table scraps, obviously those are much, much higher calories than uh, just regular dog food. Or you would try to get the dog to exercise more. It's pretty straightforward, right? Um, people are actually pretty similar. We don't live as much in a vacuum as a dog. Dogs don't really think about all these other confounding factors, but the premise is there. Um, and human bodies essentially work the same. Um, however much energy you consume, your body is going to use a certain amount of that. And then whatever is not used is gonna be stored as fat. It's not quite that simple, but that's essentially how it works is uh, food is broken down and turned into energy. Your body has a certain amount of energy it needs in order to survive, in order to do its daily processes. If you consume more energy than your body needs, your body's gonna store the rest as fat. If you consume less energy than what your body needs, your body starts to dip into fat stores or in some cases, carbohydrate stores in order to get enough energy in order to go through those processes, okay? So what is happening in that process that is causing you to not be able to lose fat? If you're consuming less you know, than you're supposed to be taking in, why aren't you losing fat? Um, so there are a couple of reasons that could be happening. The first could be, and the, the most likely culprit, is that you're eating more than you think you are. And I know that people don't wanna hear that, but there has been hordes of research on people's understanding of their intake, including on dietitians, people who work in nutrition, and people grossly underestimate how much food they consume. They also don't seem to have enough knowledge of how many calories are in their food. Um, so you may look at a salad and think that it's low calorie because it's a salad, but you don't consider all of the toppings on the salad, the dressings on the salad. You don't have a, enough of an understanding of measurements. Um, eyeballing measurements is not very, a very accurate way of keeping track of calories. Um, so all of those things add up. People snack on things throughout the day. They don't think about the calories that are in their drinks. They put in more creamer in their coffee than they realize they are. There are lots and lots of reasons that calories can be racking up throughout the day. And that's not to say that eating these things are necessarily inherently bad. It's just that oftentimes the culprit lies in what you're actually consuming and it takes diligent practice and attention in order to um, basically come up with am I actually overeating? Is this actually what is happening here? In the majority of cases, it is. In some cases, um, people do have decreases in metabolism. And remember that metabolism is comprised of a number of different components. And some of those components include your thermic effective food, which is the types of food that you're eating. If the food is um, <clears throat> more whole foods, like foods that are more similar to the, to the way that they were when they came off the tree or out of the ground or off the animal, then it's gonna cause your body to expend a little bit more energy whenever you're consuming that food. So that makes a teeny tiny difference. Um, some of your larger differences are gonna be in your physical activity. So not only structured exercise, but primarily the um, non-structured exercise. So if you're not a naturally active person, um, uh, then that is actually going to cause you to not burn as many calories. I talk with my hands a lot. That kind of energy expenditure adding up throughout the entire day, standing a lot, that actually is a massive contributor to my energy expenditure as it is to yours. If you work a sedentary job, that's gonna make a big difference versus you working a heavy labor, labor job or being a waitress or being on your feet in some way. Um, so that kind of thing factors in as well. Also, sleep highly affects your metabolism, your energy expenditure, because if you are not sleeping well, you're not as likely to um, feel as energetic. You're not going to expend as much energy. So if you're sleeping like crap, 
then you're also probably going to be expending um, less energy in the long term, even if you are awake more hours of the day. So those are some, some, some major factors. Um, aging affects it a tiny bit. So there's a, a tiny bit of a decline in metabolism as you age, tiny bit of energy expenditure, because your total muscle mass also contributes to how much energy you're expending. So that's why it's usually recommended that you engage in a strength training program in order to gain muscle mass. And I know that some people shy away from that, but believe me, you're not gonna gain as much muscle as you think you are. Um, but if you do gain some muscle mass, it actually helps with energy expenditure as well while you're being at rest. Um, so as we age, we actually start to see sarcopenia happen. So you decrease the amount of muscle mass you have on your body. And that is going to contribute a little bit to a decrease um, in energy expenditure. Um, so those types of things do play a role. Um, women also see that throughout their cycle, they have changes in metabolism. So changes in overall energy output, um, changes in how their body metabolizes a little bit. But remember that these are very minute. These are very, very small changes. Um, hypothyroidism also uh, plays a role well once again the, the effect is very small so the actual effect on your metabolism is very small the larger effects is always going to be what you're consuming and then how much energy you are expending so if you feel like you are struggling 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 to lose weight what you need to look at number one is how much food you are actually eating not just one day not just two days on a consistent basis because what people will often do is they will start to monitor their food intake and they'll eat better while they're monitoring and then they end up binging at some point those binges or those periods of overeating will undo any progress that you saw while you were eating a bit less or while you were eating healthier food choices so it's important that you choose a diet that's going to help you basically sustain it long term so i would start to look at what you're actually consuming make sure that you're incorporating some kind of resistance training exercise in general but particularly resistance training because that increase in muscle mass is going to make um it's going to make a difference as far as not just your health overall um, but also a little bit with your energy expenditure and then try to set up your environment so that your meat your non-activity thermogenesis is a little bit higher so you're having to stand while you're while you're working um, in order to get into the grocery store you're parking at the back end of the parking lot and you're walking all the way across the parking lot you're doing things that involve more use of your hands you're putting things further away from you so you're having to reach for it rather than it being so close and there's a number of things you can do to change your environment as far as food goes as well food accessibility but those types of things those kinds of like macro changes are going to be what makes the biggest difference as far as weight loss more than likely what you are facing is a little bit of confusion like i said as far as how much you're consuming how much energy you're actually expending on a daily basis um, and things like that it's highly likely not your hormones and you probably just need some accountability and a bird's eye view over those types of things in your life for you to be able to get to that point where you're seeing the weight loss that you want okay so um, I'm not trying to make anyone feel like they're, that their feelings are invalid. It's not that. It's just that there's a heavy amount of research that points in this direction. So I promise you, you are not broken. You might just need some extra help.